Hi there, this is Lazio speaking. Uh, in this video, I wanted to share with you a few tips uh, in case you're preparing for your CCIE uh, lab exam. And the first one is that you should uh, buy your own equipment. It might, it might uh, obvious that it might seem, but I've been talking to a lot of folks and some of you still using a uh, cloud environment uh, but if you take these uh, the costs into account uh, it is more expensive using cloud uh, solutions than buying your own equipment and there are so many advantages by owning your own equipment like you can scale you can add more cpu more memory hard disk whatever you want you don't have to pay more for that and this is going to be an equipment that you'll be using for a very long period of time so uh, my suggestion is that you should buy your own equipment and for those who are running for the cci security lab exam uh, they actually shared uh, what is the expected uh, performance of the the image that you'll be running either you <coughs> sorry You'll be using even G or ESXi. Obviously, you can tweak these values uh, to meet your needs, and you don't need to power on or have a full-scale lab working uh, for to practice. So you can like uh, just use um, some of the devices and for different scenarios. So this is the first tip. Just buy your own equipment and build your own lab and the second tip is that don't take a boot camp uh, just because you want to take your CCA and what I mean by that is that you should only take a CCA boot camp if you want to test what you don't know and what you and how much you know uh, and instead of going to a bootcamp to learn uh, how to configure FTD, FMC, uh, Stealth Forge, these kind of things, uh, my suggestion is that you should already know how to do those things. You should already be comfortable with this technology, with these products, and only go to a bootcamp just to test okay how much do i really know how much i don't know it's just really uh, a second validation let's say before you're taking the real the real lab exam uh the third tip uh would be to use the cisco practical labs and uh, this is a very useful tool i uh, wish i had uh last year before taking my CCIE EI. Uh, I believe this program, it was launched uh, around November or December. And I'm actually going to show you guys. Um, you, they give you like different scenarios that you can play with for a uh, four hour session. Uh, and the requirement to take these uh, labs, these, prat these practical labs, that first you should already have passed the, the score uh, that's the core exam for cci security and and th this is just so many advantages by using uh these labs a they are from cisco directly b you'll be facing uh you'll be using the same version code that you will see in the real exam same equipment okay and a topology might be something similar to what you expect to see in the real exam so there are just a lot of advantages uh for to take this 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 practical lab and i'm going to do i'm going to use them as well probably when i feel okay i'm ready to take the exam and i want to test myself to see okay how much i know how much i don't know and just to see if I can spot a weakness in some technology or some products. So take it a shot and 
you have to register to to reserve to reserve your station and it's going to take you to this page where you get to select the track and uh, I'll, I'll select security and then select which session which lab you want to take uh, so I believe probably I'll take DNAC because this is the one they are currently I don't have deployed on my own environment uh, but we'll see and the last tip is to continue watching this YouTube channel continue supporting the channel and help me help the channel grow and, and that's it guys that's all I want to, to share with you and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.